hello everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome also to my kitchen i want to make a goosey i know i've made a goosey previously and uploaded on my channel but this is another method that i make a goosey it's not um the one i posted previously i started off by frying the oil this one i'm not going to fry the oil and i'm going to be using smoked turkey i'm going to be using smoked turkey Try or shaki, as we call it in Nigeria, and some beef. So, guys, all of this have been washed. So, just watch me as I go. And I also want to thank everyone who has um, subscribed to my YouTube channel. It's a big thank you to all of you. Really, really grateful for your support. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. When you're ready, this is up. This is, um, by the way, dried pepper, blended dried. Okay. I have some chopped ch chilies that I'm going to use, add. My seasoning cubes already crushed. And my salt to taste. I'm gonna boil this and allow the meat to be tender. Once it's tender, I can now start my cooking proper so just tag along with me and if you've not subscribed to my youtube channel kindly do so and those of you that have subscribed i want to say thank you thank you for those that are viewing my videos and if this is your first stop here i'd say thank you for stopping by and i hope you become part of the family please cook with me see you as i proceed That's my meat component, the shaki, the tripe, and uh, <laughs> sorry, did I say shaki and tripe? I bought the same shaki or tripe, the beef and the, and the smoked turkey. Still cooking. I'm just thinking of probably putting it in the grill. When I'm done with this, I may do that just to give the the meat a, a different um, texture. Let's make it a little bit hard. Yeah, our soup, our meat and tripe and turkey is cooking nicely, but it's not yet tender. Just wanted you guys to see it. Okay, uh, this is the, the 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 stock from the from the bait, and basically what I'm just gonna do is to just add my gussy in and allow it to boil for as long as.
we'll just keep stirring this so your pot does not get burnt okay going to, and you keep adding your water intermittently water or stock depending on what you what you have and what you what you choose to use I'm still adding um, water to it because it's not ready. Oops. My goosey is almost ready. Can you see the oil floating on it? On the oil that's afloat, yeah? That's what has been released from the goosey. That's what you should aim for before you start mixing and um, adding your other ingredients into the pot. Mind you, you also need to add more water. You add water as well to help you to help with the cooking. I guess it's almost ready to receive the rest of the ingredients. This agusi is ready. You see those nice bubbly holes coming out from it and the oil or the fat floating above it. This is actually ready for me to start adding whatever ingredient I want to add into it. I'm just going to add a bit of water. And allow it to, to boil or simmer like they say. Is it simmer? Allow it to boil a little bit further. I will, in, I will add my um, grilled mackerel fish in it now. Do you know one thing about cooking for me is that we all have different methods of cooking but we arrive at the same destination. I think I'm lost here. <laughs> I'm lost here. Anyway, you guys, you know what I'm all about. So, I'm going to add bitter leaf. But whilst I'm adding the bitter leaf, I am not going to say a word. I don't know if it is um, an old wife's tale or so. I, I, I know that a friend of mine was teaching me how to make bitter leaf soup back then in the university. And so she said, once you're adding the bitter leaf in the pot, do not say a word. Because if you say a word, the soup will end up being very bitter. I don't know how far that is true, but that has stuck with me ever since. And each time I'm adding bitter leaf to my cooking, I don't say a word while I'm adding it. So that it does not, um, I don't ruin it or mess it up. It's just, I just do it unconsciously. I don't know if it is true. Please, I would like to for you to leave a comment and let me know if it is true.
Okay. So the next thing I'm going to add, the next ingredient will be my spinach. Only because it's um, it's frozen and then it does have some water in it as well. This is coming up really, really well. Add my um, my grilled um, tripe or shaki beef and the what's it called now smoked turkey. I'm going to add the fish. My soup is almost ready. a little bit of water because it's just too thick for me. Not because it's too thick, just a little bit of water. This is ready. Let's go to sprinkle and um, seasoning cube. Spare it. And the last thing I'm going to add to the soup. It looks so good, trust me, and it tastes really, really good. Please try it out and then um, give me your feedback. Last to go in now is my onion. I'll leave it to just cook for about two or three minutes and I'm taking it off. 
Oh, that soup is ready. I've turned off the burner. Let's give it a quick stir. Guys, this is the end product or the final outcome of my egusi. Thank you so much for cooking with me. I'm just gonna have this with um, a wrap of pounded yam, and I'm done for the day. Join me, please. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel like and share this video send me your comments and let me know what you think let me know if you have a different way of making your ekusi please thank you thank you thank you and i'll see you in my next video bye for now